the Lord Jesus reign. Amen. How many of you believe that Jesus reign? Wherever you are this morning, I'm here to tell you, amen, that Jesus reign. Oh, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it this morning. I'll bring you greetings, amen, from Trinity Christian Tabernacle, amen, amen, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning, amen. This morning, it's a good day, it's a blessed day, and I'm here, amen, to bring the word of God to you this morning, amen. To those listening to me this morning, I would like to speak to you, amen, this morning, uh, from the topic, uh, Jesus is available to you. Jesus is available to you. But before uh, I speak to you this morning, I just want to ask God to have his way uh, as I bring the word this morning. Precious Father, we ask you in the name of the Lord, uh, Jesus Christ, that you will let your word go forth with power so that someone will hear your word this morning. And we realize that you are available to their situation in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Uh, an available person, not otherwise occupied, but ready immediately to be used at any particular time. Not like many of the people we recommended for various offices. But when uh, they uh, reach such a dimension, you and I seek their help in time of crisis, and they are not available. But according to the, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, from verse 25 to the verse 34, Mark's Gospel describes a woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. And I'd suffer many things of many physicians, and nothing better, but rather grow worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For the woman said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Jesus, immediately knowing virtue had gone out of him, said, who touched me? All the disciples say, the crowd is large. But Jesus, how could someone touch you? But Jesus persistent, uh, to who touch me? When the woman realized that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before Jesus to reveal the reason for the touch and how immediately she was healed. Jesus said unto the woman, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee hold. Go in peace. You see, my brothers and sisters watching me, Jesus made himself available for the woman. And he will also be available for you if you seek him. The book of Hebrew 4 verse 15 said, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all wise point of a uh, tempted like as we are, yet without sin. It is your situation. You are facing too overwhelming and you are losing hope. I'm here to tell somebody that Jesus is available to you. If you tried everything and everything failed, I'm telling you to try Jesus. 
The songwriter said, if you try, everything and everything fail. I'm here to tell you, you can try Jesus. The woman tried Jesus. She was unclean based on the law, the Leviticus law. Died anyway, so eventually she must step out and faith. She had to have knowledge. The woman had to have knowledge of the Jewish laws to pursue the spiritual blue tassel, uh, part of the four garments which forms part of the Jewish mantle and down over the shoulder at the back. That is what the priests wear. Amen. The difference, brothers and sister, amen, of the touch is that Jesus felt the touch of faith. You see, uh, the situation is that, amen, uh, many people were touching Jesus from a physical uh, perspective. But this touch that Jesus felt was the touch of faith. That Jesus said, somebody touch me. The Bible said Jesus did not move on, amen, as she would. But he stood and seek to find out who touched him. Because Jesus is always available for you. Not like the politician. Not like those, amen, who you put in offices. And when you seek their help, then they are afraid. They are not available. But I'm here to tell somebody that whatever you are going through, whatever your purpose is, whatever your crisis is, Jesus is available to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I remember why I can say that Jesus is available. Not because Paul said it, not because Peter said it, not because the woman with the issue of blood said it, but I too have experienced the, the power of God. And why? I am here to tell you that you can recommend, I can recommend you to Jesus. Because he is available. Listen, brothers and sisters. I remember the first child produced our marriage is a testament to who Jesus is to me. My wife and I got married and she conceived with a child. And she was so happy to extend the family. But during the pregnancy, something strange happened. At about 22 weeks, the baby decided that she's coming forth. The doctors tried to prevent the baby coming, but failed in their undertaking. I remembered quite well the doctor saying, the unknown effects deformative to the baby, they cannot tell. I remember scared and frightened, brother and sister worried and wonder what to expect and how would we handle such a situation. In my dilemma, I remember praying to the Lord Jesus, saying, Lord, I thank you for the child. But God, a miracle is one to which the child would be perfect in spite of the early arrival. If there is no effect of deformity, Lord, then that is a miracle. Come on, somebody. Jesus is saying, let me prove to him who I am. The baby came at 23 and a half weeks. She was one pound, four ounces, 11 inches tall. Come on, somebody. She spent months in and out of the hospital but had no deformity. Look at God. The same baby. She attended an early learning, elementary school, high school and achieved honor roll. She is now in a university, in her final semester. Amen, and will be graduated with a bachelor in, in psychology and also at the mind to move
one of the sisters, daughter of Christ, singing praises to him because of what he did for him. Jesus is a failure. The songwriter said, when I look back over my life and I think things over, come on, I can say that I'm truly blessed because Jesus was available for me. And if Jesus did it for the woman, if Jesus did it for me, then your circumstances, Jesus can do it for you. If your problem is overwhelming, Jesus is the answer to your problem. Those watching me, somebody might be saying, who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Jesus had the authority over sickness and plague. Amen. Who is Jesus? Jesus had the authority over the storm. Who is Jesus? Jesus had the authority over nature. Who is Jesus? The Bible said he is the Savior of the world. Genesis 1, 5. 1, 1, 2, 5. Say that he is Christ, our creator God. Exodus 12, 1 to 51. Say he is our Passover lamb. Who is this Jesus you recommending to me? Leviticus 16, 30. 34 say he is our sacrifice for sin. Come on, someone. Numbers 21. Uh, 1 to 9 say is our lifted one. Amen. The Bible said the brazen serpent in the wilderness. If I be lifted up, Jesus said, then I will draw all men unto you. Deuteronomy 18, 15 to 22 say he is our true prophet. Jesus Christ. The one the woman touched. The one that you can touch. If you have a problem, all you have to do is seek him because he heals available for you. Come on, Joshua, a man found out that he is the captain of our salvation. Samuel, Chronicles and King, find out that he is the king. Come on, somebody. Ezra, Nehemiah, find out that Jesus He's the restorer. But who is Jesus to me? Jesus is the Holy Begotten of the Father. Come on, he is the Prince of Peace. Come on, Solomon, call him the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valley. But who do you say he is? I am here to tell you he is my Savior. He is the one who got up from the grave. He is alive, and whatever your problem is, Jesus will fix it for you. He knows just what to do. Whenever you pray, then the Lord will have his way, because Jesus will fix it for you. Those watching me this morning, if you are a believer, Come on, you hold on to Jesus, he's your fixer. Come on, if you understand Mark, gospel, yeah, it wasn't Jesus who touched the woman. It was a woman with her faith. She was desperate. She spent all her money seeking her in remedy, but nobody could have healed her fountain. Amen, but when Jesus passed by, she said, but if I could only touch the hem of his garment, then I will be made whole. She touched Jesus by faith. What is your problem today? Amen, we are living in a world where there are so many problems. And so many people are losing hope. But if you are in your living room, in your bedroom, in your kitchen, Wherever you are, whatever the problem is, Jesus is available 
but you have to seek him. Matthew 7 and 7 said, Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. Ask and it shall be given. I am so glad I had a child that God has delivered from the end of the enemy. There is no form of a man effect of deformity. She is whole. She is pure. She is singing praises. God can do it for you. My unsaved friend, you may not know this Jesus, but I'm telling you that I found him and he is sweet I know. Storm clouds may rise, stormy winds may blow, but I tell the world that I found a savior and he is sweet I know. I'm not ashamed of this gospel. I'm not ashamed of this Jesus. I'm so proud of him. I'll stand up as Paul. I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power. Jesus makes me happy because I touch him by faith. Hebrew 11.6 uh, said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must first believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Is there one out there today saying I need this Jesus? I am sick and I need to be healed. I need this Jesus. I'm sad and I need to be comforted. I need this Jesus. I heard about him heal the blind man. I heard about him walking on the water. I heard about him turning water into wine. Here I'm telling you, but he also he was touched by the woman. And he also did a miraculous act in my life. And I can tell him wherever I go, that Jesus is a healer where well, you have to touch him. If you are not saved and you want to know this Jesus, all you need to do, my unsaved friend, is acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of God, that he died for you on the cross. And if you accept him as Lord and Savior, then you touch him. And whatever you need is, I know that the Lord can see you true. My Christian friends holding the bloodstained banner, stay firm, hold on. Keep the faith. God is depending on you. I want to pray this morning, amen, for you watching me, that God will pass through your way today and makes the difference in your life. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, today I present who you are, Jesus. You who the woman touched by faith had brought her issue of blood to a stop. There are many that are weak and dying and fail. God are failing today because those who they put in authority have failed them. But Jesus, you are a failure. I pray you will reach the heart of someone today. Bless the hearer. Save a soul. Strengthen your people everywhere. God, we give you all the praise that belong to you. Right now, I tell you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. My brothers and sisters, you have heard the word of God, and I hope it was a blessing to you that you can also touch Jesus by faith, just as the woman with the issue of love, and you will be made of through his power. God bless you, stay safe. And I love you, and you can do nothing.